So on Amazon, Disney is still not doing well, okay? You still say, but what well, does Disney put? All these people always say the Disney puts, okay? But we all know the people who want to buy movies, who want to own movies. Because if you see a movie, you do not own those movies, okay? You, you're, you're basically, you know, renting them for seven for eight dollars a month okay you don't own the movies you, if you want if your senior service ends or you, you don't keep the movies okay and yeah that's why physical media is important right there okay streaming you don't keep the movies you, they're not yours they'll they'll whoever makes a streaming service okay and what if that streaming service shuts down they'll, 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 there's no way you can watch those movies anymore that's why you know that's why you know you know i don't i don't like when a tv shows or or shows only on streaming or movie, because you can't see them anywhere else. So yeah, the only movie that's still really selling is Star Wars, where it's, it's because Star Wars, you know, was a surprise to me that this Rise of Skywalker is still selling. Surprisingly, okay, a movie has been out for two weeks. I know Bad Boys for Life is coming out like next week. I bought, I thought the movie was coming out this week, but it's coming out next week. But yeah, Bad Boys for Life is, is rising up top twenty. Frozen 2 is no longer the top 10 because Frozen 2 sucks. It's a pile of crap. But yeah, Frozen's only selling because it's overrated. We all know that's the reason why, okay? You know, not like people like Frozen or anything, but it's only selling because it's overrated. So yeah, but scroll down further. <coughs> Frozen 2 is selling better than Endgame. That's just so that's just funny, okay? And, but that's a newer movie. But yeah, Downtown Abbey, World Combat Legends, Midway is here. Sonic, even Brie Watson's crap is selling. Just mercy. Birds of prey. <laughs> People buying that crap? People buying birds of crap? Cause that's what birds of prey really should be called. Birds of crap. People buying this ugly, terrible movie of such ugly characters. I also don't understand why would anyone want to watch Trolls, okay? <clears throat> the characters are just so ugly and creepy, okay? You know, same thing with the Emoji movie. The characters are so ugly and creepy. Oh yeah, he's Endgame, the only other Disney movie in the top 50. But we have one, two... Two, three. There's like five or six Warner Bros. movies in the top ten. Okay, a few Universal movies as well, and a few movies from other companies. Disney only has like four movies. Okay, four movies. Okay, everyone else has so many other movies. Okay, Disney's not the first choice. Like I said many times, and then we have this drop of movies and Mistress of Evil. No one's buying this because it's garbage. Movies and Mistress of Evil is garbage. That's the simple of that. Okay. The fact that they're only selling this for $9 is Disney's desperation. The desperation to sell more copies of a movie that nobody wants. There we go further down. So that's what we get selling. Selling better than Captain Marvel. Like it has been. And it always will be selling better than Captain Marvel. <coughs> Aquaman. Higher than Captain Marvel. DC's like this. It's just smoking Captain Marvel. Okay. Even Birds of Prey is smoking Captain Marvel. Yep. Captain Marvel's not in the top 100. And, and Toy Story 4 has also fallen out the list. And they kept saying how much of a... Pixar fanboys go on all day. All day and tell you how much a masterpiece Toy Story 4 is. But it's not selling. Spies in the Skies. Call the Wild. Not selling. Because nobody's buying these movies. They no one's buying any movies with that logo. Because they know that they can get a bad experience with a movie with that logo on it. The Disney cover. Okay. Now I see action movies. I know they took Endgame off this list for some weird, odd reason. Only have the European version on there, so we can't really count Endgame, cause that has the Euro that, cause that's the European version. But Wonder Woman as outselling Captain Marvel as well. Captain Marvel is being outsold by <laughs> Game Night, a movie that nobody has seen. A movie that nobody has seen is outselling Captain Marvel. That is just funny right there. But yeah, let's go down here further. And it's like the oh, like Venom actually went down. We had Tony Dark Face not selling. Rampage is selling better. It's selling better. It's selling. It's selling. It's <laughs> Suicide Squad's all the way down here. Yeah, Infinity War. But any movie was that 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 fell down. Sound like chapters one for free. Does Batman vs Superman's on the list? Yeah, I remember when I played one was like twenty dollars when I got it. <laughs> now it's only six or one. Only six or one. Sorry, Angels. Oh yeah, Rampage is still selling better than Ra than Sorry, Angels, and the Holy Grail of Marvel movies, according to the Marvel fanboys, Black Panther movie is still is being outsold by Sorry, Angels. Okay, I know Black Panther's like 
like two years old now, okay? Okay, we're, we're gonna stop knocking on Black Panther, but it's a two year old movie, okay? But you can see here Rampage is outselling Infinity War. <laughs> and then Suicide Squad is outselling Infinity War. And the European version of Endgame. Because nobody's gonna buy the European version because that version sucks, okay? Because that's the European version. Then we have. <laughs> Yeah, there's an accent, and you know, action movies, you know, Marvel isn't really winning, okay? Marvel isn't really winning. DC is winning. <laughs> this war, <laughs> DC is winning. Sony's even beating it. That was something more than, than Marvel, okay? Lego Movie 2, that's an action movie. <laughs> sounds like a waste of, Lego Movie 2 sounds like a waste of money to me, but you have those angry Lego Movie fanboys saying, oh, Lego Movie's a masterpiece. <coughs> Let's see, hey, for kids and family, it should be the Disney movies. Let's go on DVDs. Yeah, Disney, we, Lion King remix would be under here. Because Cats is just as kids and family, so. Lego Movie 2. So the Lion King remake is selling worse than the Lego Movie 2 in Toy Story 4. But, uh, but Disney fanboys call them masterpieces. The masterpieces are not selling the quote unquote masterpieces that goes to 1.6 and 1.07 billion dollars respectively. They're not selling. They're not selling. Disney's just not selling. And it's just so funny during the time that people are going to buy movies, Disney's just not selling. Look at Spies in the Sky. That movie's selling worse than Secret Life of Pets 2. Okay? Secret Life of Pets 2. Okay? Selling more, worse than over, like 40 year old movies. Okay? It's selling worse than. DreamWorks movies that they released with their own version, like a di like the Disney versions, where you only get a Blu-ray and digital, which is completely dumb because it makes no sense. But yeah, that's the that's DreamWorks for you. But yeah, which again, Disney no no that's DreamWorks. Disney does not own DreamWorks. I think of someone else, some other company. But yeah, Disney released the DreamWorks released the new versions of the movies with the very generic covers. Covers, and yeah, it, it's not just Disney doing that crap. It's DreamWorks doing that as well. Which I find it very, very disappointing. They could have unique box art. Now what do you do? Look, put back blue background, put main character on cover, and put you know the name and our logo, and only put blue in it. I think they'll make putting those out to mass produce them for like five dollars, because all these DreamWorks editions are like five dollars to seven dollars. So they're pretty cheap. So. Yeah, the new uh, DreamWorks version. I think you still buy the original versions of the movies. They're just releasing to make cheaper versions of it. Unlike Disney, or the reason the Disney versions of the old DreamWorks and you know, Pixar movies and pouring and charging for forty forty dollars, and then you only get Blu-ray and digital for that for a forty dollar movie. But you know that's Disney for you, a company that only wants money out of you. Okay, and yeah, you can go for any category. Well, I can actually could go to DVDs. DVDs. Of course, nobody buys DVDs anymore because they're worse than Blu-rays. But yeah, DVDs. Let's see what's selling on DVD. Okay, Zumanzi. Little Women Surprise will be selling. Yeah, it's made of the same movies. Frozen Two is at on oh, the same spot. And yeah, we have Joker. Joker's out selling Frozen One. And there's a lot of like older movies that are selling for like six dollars. Like Honey, I Suck the Kids. That's a six dollar. Oh, that's also a Disney movie. But that was like, like a lot of really old movies. Sonic. But you can see here that Disney, besides some, like, some older Disney movies like Moana and Frozen and Honey, I Swung the Kids. And some other movies, like very old movies. Like old classic movies. Frozen's not one, but yeah. Hey, Disney fanboys can argue that, but oh wait. Disney, Disney's at least, at least selling on DVD. People are at least buying oh, the Aladdin remake on DVD. At least that's a win for Disney. But yeah, Disney is just not selling. Disney's not the first choice. The Mario Bros. movies out selling Toy Story 4, according here. Unless I skipped over Toy Story 4. Well, that's Toy Story 4 was on here, I skipped through it. But it's pretty hard not to miss Toy Story 4. Seems that Aladdin is the only one that's selling out of all of these movies. Out of all of these movies, it's just not selling. Not selling. The Toy Story 4. Pixar fanboys called it a masterpiece. Well,. I guess it's not, I guess it's such a masterpiece, it's fine off, it's not fine off the shelves. So that's basically it. Goodbye.